In this video, I want to talk a little bit about DNA damage, specifically damage in the form of thymine dimers and how this is involved with xeroderma pigmentosum. So basically what happens is, imagine you have a DNA strand running 503 prime. Point is you have two thymines next to each other. Now, if there is UV light, ultraviolet light, you go out in the sun, you play out in the sun, there's UV light, that can cause what is called the dimerization of these thymine nucleotides. So these thymine bases uh, become covalently bonded right next to each other. Now that's not sup normally supposed to happen. These are bad. Why are they bad? Well, they, they form these things called lesions in the DNA. So they damage the DNA structure. So if this is a DNA strand with a bunch of, you know, if it has a bunch of bases like this, right, they're all interacting via hydrogen bonds, and that's what's holding the DNA together. And then suddenly these two thymines next to each other covalently bond to each other. What that causes is it causes that portion of the DNA to sort of bump off away from the DNA or from the um, from the things they were interacting with over here, the A's that they were interacting with. So this thing here is a lesion in the DNA. And that's bad, right? You don't want your DNA to, to be damaged like this. So can this be fixed? The answer is yes. But you must have a particular exinuclease enzyme. So with the exinuclease enzyme, what that does is it cuts out the lesion. And then eventually what can happen is the DNA can um, uh, be replaced by a DNA polymerase and then ligase can seal the gap. So basically the DNA can be repaired. So it's not necessarily a problem. But it can be a problem in the condition called xeroderma pigmentosum. Xeroderma pigmentosum is an autosomal recessive genetic disorder. And the, the genetic disorder, it basically, it in, involves a lack of the enzymes involved in repairing DNA damage caused by this UV light. So basically with people who have xeroderma pigmentosum, they don't have the enzyme, they don't have the exinuclease and the other enzymes involved in repairing these DNA lesions um, uh, caused by these thymines dimerizing. So these individuals, pe patients with xeroderma pigmentosum, um, basically if they go out in the sun, this, this, these lesions can form and they can't fix that. That's a problem. So how are these patients treated? if? The basically the only form of treatment that they really have. There are some other forms, I think, but um, the way these patients are treated basically is to avoid exposure to UV light because DNA damage can be severely, severely bad. And um, this is called xeroderma pigmentosum, derm coming from skin. Um, a lot of they have um, they have like uh, excuse me, they can potentially get cancer of the skin and uh, they have lesions on their skin and if, if you're curious you can conduct a Google search but uh, beware uh, it, it's not the prettiest site um, it can it can uh, what's the word I'm looking for I don't know just be cautious when when looking at those uh, if you do conduct a Google image search of the of zero dermatosum but I hope that you understand the sort of mo the molecular basis for this, right? This UV, the UV light causes this dimerization, and that's a problem. But it can normally be repaired. But in patients with xeroderma pigmentosum, they can't repair it because they don't have the enzymes that, that allows them to repair it. So they have to avoid exposure to UV light altogether. Hope that video was helpful and clear. One last thing, I am a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email at moveuniversity at gmail.com and see the description below for more details. Thank you for watching.